I think this is a linaria, you know. I love wild plants. Too many people regard them as weeds. Oh, how beautiful they are. People need re-educating when it comes to the environment. Because they're always complaining. Another mighty haul from Waitrose, and in spite of the things I usually get, like blueberries and these, I've got some things I don't usually get. Well, beans are in this type of one of those. I use all my blends. Some of my favourite biscuits, which no one else seems to like, because these are the only ones that were left there. So tell me something I don't know. That's no surprise there. I have my naughty tastes, it appears. And I've got some of these. I haven't tried these before. Joe and Seth's peanut butter gourmet popcorn. They look quite nice. So, and I've got some of these. Patisserie dark hazelnut. They look rather nice, don't they? The sunglasses on the ground. Seeded oat and biscuits. Great rose duchy. Some of the giant couscous and lentils. I to eat. I like those. My usual whisper. Oh, and I've got a dark chocolate bounty this week, and I intended to and forgot. I also intend. Oh, I've got some of the Reese's. You know, I like my Reese's peanut butter cups. I also meant to get some of that delicious Idaho mashed potato, ready mashed, and I totally forgot that as well. Ritter Sport, couldn't find any Lind or Lint mint, and all Waitrose dark chocolate and mint peppermint flavour. Got what? My Doritos. Ah, the shades. Yeah, I hope there's no loads of germs all over them. What's in my cool bag this week? Let's find out. You know what I ask. Put these back. Let's see what's in here. Always a moment of much anticipation amongst regular viewers. I don't know. They had one lot of the Levantine table pita chips, but they were put in the wrong place, so I put them back where they should have been and left them there. Got pop and hand pies. Hopefully I've got a bit of nice of jelly in. Jimmy's iced coffee, which I do like. I couldn't get to the Starbucks one this week. No oh, mango, kefir. Yeah, and salted butter. And yeah, these are all fresh butter. Strawberry and black currant kefir. Look at the jelly. Look at the delicious jelly in there. Oh, that's a lot. She said they don't normally get it in these, but look at that this week, that's delicious. Sweet cheese twist. My cheese twist. My cheesy twist. It's mm -hmm. a bumblebee mm. on a privet hedge. I feel this is so important for the environment and so many people have a hedge, get rid of it and put a fence up and think they've improved things. And they're so bullshit about it. But anyhow, this is lovely. Oh, aren't they lovely? Look at these, they're beautiful tucked away under here. And yet there's people in my area who look at these with disgust and think of them as weeds. Beautiful. They attract beneficial insects too. This lovely pink yarrow. It's nice, isn't it? It's pink. Pink yarrow. There's white and there's pink. Oh, it's lovely. Nice to see the wildflowers growing. I know people see it and then they complain. Say, oh, isn't it untidy? I'm glad the councils are ignoring those sort of people because they're just ignorance. They need educating. Lovely. Beautiful. So yes, there's these uh, biscuits that look quite interesting. I've not had these before. Seeded oat and biscuits. The delicious pistachio and rose shortbread. Very delicious. Abernethy. And we eat a lot of oily fish here, as you can see. Do you know olive oil? Oh, I haven't had this for a while. 
honey with rose extract. That's delicious. The albacore tuna in olive oil in the jar. And we've got the... Oh yeah, I wasn't going to show this anymore because I don't have it. The red, the red salmon, the... This is new though, I don't usually get this, but I might now. Herring fillets and tomato sauce, John Nice, John Red. Macro fillets and olive oil. Macro fillets and spicy tomato sauce. And the usual salmon and pepper and black pepper. Lemon and black pepper. Well, this is so funny in the Waitress magazine. Weather report. May rain, but drought. Drought it. <laughs> at it. Incy wincy, you made me jump, says the cat. You've got anarachophobia. <laughs> the fear of spiders in raincoats. <laughs> I got some of these headphones from um, Poundland yesterday. They're not in there because I took them out. Cause my... They're not as good as they're just ordinary plain black headphones with the bits that go over the ear. But I wear mine like that anyway. I always wear mine like that. I just loop them over the top of my ear. These are the best ones. But with these, the sound only comes out of one speaker now. These ones are with a metallic lead. They were the best ones that I got from Poundland because they're much loud. These are very quiet. You can hardly... Because I don't listen to loud music. I only listen to like Radio 4 and I'm like... Well, I bother sometimes. I mean, if I ever I get up in time to put on Woman's Hour, oh my God, they have pearl clutching, hand wringing angst. One woman was on there talking the other day, uh, going on about climate change and uh, complaining about the ideas of climate change. Oh, women should be allowed to have as many children as they like. Some women want large families. They must be allowed to have them. I felt like saying. Stupid, selfish bitch. Never mind, so, excuse me, but it just irritates me. This idea that, you know, if someone is a woman, they must be allowed to have anything they want and all the sisterhood must be behind them and support them. If not, they're going to have to be bludgeoned into it and they need re-educating or ignoring. Never mind what it's doing to the planet. You know, women must be encouraged to have as many children as possible. And if they can't have, if they want them, you know, that, and even if they don't, they must be encouraged to have as many, as many as possible. And we must make sure that there's plenty of benefit to give them so that they always support it. Oh, God. I can't believe they give airtime to people with views like that. Ridiculous. Sorry. That, yeah, rant over, but, oh. Remind me, that's why I don't listen to Woman's Hour. It's so irritating. Anyhow, these are delicious. And like I say, these are lovely. But if they, if they want to interview women, why don't they interview someone like Rhonda Byrne, who has, has actually got something positive to say? Oh, give me strength. Oh, I've got this at last. I'm looking forward to looking at reading this, The Age of Chaos. Look at those Frobisher, the penguin. Yeah, I'm a Hoovian. I admit it, I'm a Hoovian. Not ashamed, actually proud to be a Hoovian. Let's see what else, we, what else have we got in here. Mistress of Chaos. Oh, I'm not interested in that one. I don't read them all. I don't just have them just because it's Doctor Who. It has to be something that appeals to me. And this one did. Frobisher, the penguin shape-shifting penguin to be precise it was written by colin baker he, who did play the sixth doctor and he's the best audio doctor what sort of moth is this in my house look at it is it lovely look what it is i won't have to put that out i can't leave it in here in the bathroom isn't that nice never seen one like that before i don't know what it is Oh, I wonder what sort of moth this is. Is it, is it an orange underwing? No, I'm not sure. No. Isn't it pretty? I think it's an orange underwing, this moth. Oh, he's not very happy. At least I've something decent to put him out in. I don't want him to get loose in my house. He'll get caught in a web. But, um, yeah, it's lovely. But he's nice. Oh, don't worry, moth. 
I'm going to put you out. Yeah, it's lovely looking, isn't it nice? Very lovely. It's lovely wild flowers. So nice to see. And yet some people just think weeds. Lovely. Beautiful. Very lovely. So pretty. Good for the environment. Bad work. The cinema got the cinema moth relies on that. Very beneficial. Oh, steak and ale. So I have to get one of the, these today. For anyone who's watched me over the years know that I used to love Eve Rocher products and it's sad that you can't get them in the UK anymore. But um, at least you, you haven't been able to. I'm using this in the bath tonight. I haven't used it for a while. So it's going to have a cool bath because it's very warm. And it's nice. Done another dolls in the garden video and there's Sonia in her face mask being very, very responsible because she's got her shopping and uh has her new shoes. So yeah, she's all set all kitted out, being respons doing the right thing, being responsible. Right, I'm here in my friend's bathroom and look that there's that's what her hair looks like. There she is, just relaxing, just chilling. Just chilling out in the water there, in the steam. Alright, I'm having a really cold bath. <laughs> yeah, because, just because, because it's very warm. <laughs> no candle tonight. There we go, there's a. Oh! Oh, there's a girl. She is brushed out. I use that little Barbie brush that I used to use for my little friend, you know, the little black cat that used to come in. So she's been, let's hoping her hair when it dries, it is completely dead straight. Oh, that's a little bee. Cute. A bumble. Anyhow, got a new Barbie. Got her from TK Maxx, 6 99 I've got. Oh. I've got this one, I called her Blanche. I got her from TK Maxx as well. This is the one I've got now, I don't want that one, it's just a Barbie. This one I got online from American Amazon a long time ago now. That's Marcia. This one I might call Monica. And, what have I got in here? Yeah, I got this one. She was the only one of the first three I hadn't got. I'm not definitely going to bother with too many of the others. I opened a new one for me. It's got some nice eggs. I stocked up mightily on the coffee from coffee bars, chocolates from, well, it's not chocolate, it's bars of coffee from Marks and Spencer's because it's bus ride and it'll be a free for all next week when the mask wearing doesn't is not compulsory. Hardly anyone bothers to, the rougher types don't bother to wear it as it is. They don't bother to wear one. And it's going to push and shove and stand all around you, around you in groups. You're trying to protect yourself. So I could go on, but I won't. Let me undo this. And we'll see. We'll see. I've got one of these. I haven't had these for a while. Oh, do I that? I haven't had an almond one for a while. I'm a bit manic today because I'm dressed out. Strawberry, honey and ginger, the coconut, and, and the Mark and Spencer's delicious cream. They scanned it by mistake in saying, uh, uh, Waitrose, they scanned it by mistake and it scanned. I don't know what it came up as, and he said, Oh, it hasn't scanned any rush. Well, that'd be weird if it did. So I really hope it didn't. Anyhow, I'm going to eat my gala pie now. Uh, I like these um, dark green. Is that vir viridian the green? That bag? Anyhow, let's see what. We've got much of an egg. They opened a new one for me. This is very good. I hope there's a nice lot of jelly. It's lovely red clover. So good, it attracts honeybees. 
Christmas white clover, but I like them. I like them both, and there's a daisy. It's so nice to see some, at least, wild plants. This is a white chocolate and lemon tart. So let's we'll see what this is like, shall we? Mmm, quite nice. Mmm. Oh, she's pretty. I don't think I've got this face mould. At least her pattern goes round the back. No Velcro though, so still at least it's not too bad when it's only one shoulder. Some of them, it really stretches their outfits when you have to pull them down over their shoulders and arms. Got nice high heeled shoes, so that's good. Yeah. I haven't seen this face mold before on a doll that I've got, I don't think. And it's good that the Playline budget dolls have their arms go out to the sides now as opposed to just up and down. Well, I like this dress, very pretty as well. I like the pattern and the colour scheme on it. And I like the shoes, it's got nice dry heels, nice colour. Sorry about the noise, you can never get away from it, no matter where you go. Yes, she's nice. So I think she can, I think I'm going to call her Monica. Monica? Monica. I've got a Monique. Perhaps I'll give it a K and call her Monica. Monica, that's the German version, I think. No, I don't want to get her confused with Monique, so I'll call her Monica. Yeah, like, from Friends. <laughs> so, yes, I've got her at last. This is the one I got first, the one I called Dorina, and then I got Inga. And I don't know what I'm going to call this one yet. So that noise going on. I'm sure you've seen all this. Now that star should be up here, obviously, but it's for some reason it's down here. I don't know whether someone's done that. Oh, oh what a mess! Put it back up there for now. See how I don't keep these boxes. I'm keen on the outfit. I like the coat. Don't like the shorts. I like her boots. Don't like the socks. Don't. I like the red top. But um, I, I like her earrings. Love her makeup. I should do something with her, so I'm pleased I've got her. She's very nice. There's a little pet, not bothered about those, but they're cute, I suppose. Little bag which is too small for the, her hand, but she's got a bag, so that must be the pet's bag. She's got little chews, some glasses. So, yes, yeah, she's the, the other one I wanted. I don't think I'll get any of the, the new ones, but I might get the one with the different outfits. She's got a nice black leather skirt that looks quite nice, but... So I'm so pleased with... Oh, I got a Barbie pack from the entertainer. That's like, um... I've got a pink version of this already. That little bear thing. And uh, this one, I like that ice lolly or popsicle. That's a little miniature dog. Sorry if the radio's loud in the background. Um... It's quite good, isn't it? A unicorn. I've got this tea, another one of those. I had to go to the independent health food store. There's a butterfly on here. Where's the butterfly? There it is. And uh, I went there and got three of these because I want to get, you know, I don't want to have to travel on buses much now. I can help it with them. Um, uh, Free for all. as I said, it's bad enough now, but anyhow, this is the most best honey ever. And Marks and Spencer's haul, two cappuccino bars. This from Waitrose, the veggie straws, and all these from Marks and Spencer's. Twelve of them, actually. It's not a chocolate bar, it's a coffee bar, quite literally. It's a bar of coffee. Not coffee flavoured chocolate, but actual coffee, and they are delicious. And so, this should last me for a couple of weeks, so I've got 12 of them. So, if I'm frugal and don't have one every single day, maybe have half of one a day, they should last me for a couple of weeks or more. So, yeah. Look, they've changed the picture on the red salmon tin. I think I rather prefer it now. It's nice, like the shades of pink and blue. Isn't that nice? I oh, know the camera doesn't focus very well, but yeah, I like that. 
sailing by, heralding the shipping forecast, so it's 10 to 1 in the morning. But I won't be going to bed for a while, I've got things to do. I've got to remake my Valentine's party in the garden video. Because I need to make a little a few edits to it. Right, well, I'm waiting for my video to finish editing. While I'm doing that, I finished Kawaii Cutie. Here she is, Kawaii Cutie. Yeah, I've done my best to. Her hair's not as straight as it was when I first washed it, but um, she got her earrings in. She got her necklace. Oh, she did have a necklace. On. She has got her necklace on. She's got her earrings in. She's got her hair accoutrements in. <laughs> she hasn't got exactly the same ones. She got a bow there and a. Uh, yellow heart but then that's maybe the sparkle version I would like the um, evening version as well but anyhow she's done I like the blue heart so yeah she's done so there we go you see her I know it's um I'd like her hair to be a little straighter and flatter but that's better than it was isn't it oh is that bobble falling dear. If we make her hair too silky, her bobbles would just fall out. She has some nicer shoes, but never mind, she's done. She's done. Yay. Kawaii cutie. Some lovely effects here in the evening of Mount Fuji. 20 to 8 in the... No, 20 to 9 in the evening, 16th of July in Japan, and of course I'm in the afternoon here, but oh isn't that lovely, Fuji-san! There he is, he's lovely! There you are, water in there. Nice little pelagonium, he looks lovely. Very nice. This is Dolly. I think I'd better put the light on. Yeah, it's a bright sunny day, but I think I've said many times I face north here, so here's Dolly. And um, what I like about these, some of the more high heels, which is good, not as high as I'd like, but on a doll, but um, their arms go out to the sides. See, they don't just go up and down like that. They just go out to the sides as well, which is good. Very good. So you've got more movement and uh, of course she sits, but unfortunately her knees don't bend, but you know, she's only a budget budget doll. There we go, there she is. Did I show you her shoes properly? Yay, arms out. <laughs> oh dear, we're very washed out again, aren't we? I've got to put the light out, that's why. Oh, superstar. Lovely. And I think this one's called My Love, I'm not sure. Beautiful. Pink and white rose. And souvenir to Dr. Jamais. Beautiful. She's got a lovely scent. Beautiful. Of course, people around here had their ways. This would all be concrete and gravel. There'd be nothing growing here at all. Heaven help the environment. This is one last little bastion of hope in this area. Very nice. Ooh. Urban Abbey. Nice little group. An iceberg's on its way. Okay. I'm using this in the bath tonight. The uh, Child's Farm bubble bath. Oh, a horse on it. And there's a program on the radio all about nipples. And they're saying the only reason we can actually put a program on Radio 4 about nipples is that because men have them too. <laughs> That's a good point. 
perhaps maybe we should ask Mattel why they can't put nipples on Barbie dolls because they're natural and you know you'd think even you'd think the Ken dolls would have them. Or something I've often wondered. <laughs> Store in a cool, dry place. We're in the middle of a raging heat wave, but uh, never mind. <laughs> right, let's see what it's like, shall we? This time. Oh. Well, I don't think it's that bad, you know. It doesn't seem to be that too much toxins to come out. And I did get a bit of sleep last night, which was amazing for me. So, I did wake up early this morning then. There was a few hours trying to get back to sleep, but that's, yeah, it's not too bad then. Maybe they do work, so I certainly got a bit more sleep last night.